It's just with this problem. <laughs> uh, I thought I would just tell you how I happened to end up here. And it goes back to being a student in a college up there in New England. And uh, I had a teacher. I was taking his courses. His name was Perry Miller. And he taught in the English department there. I'm embarrassed to tell you the name of the damn place. But anyways, it's not the most modest of institutions. And pride, the sin of pride is an occupational hazard for both student and professor who go there. I better not get into that quite yet. But anyway, one day, Professor Miller asked me if I had ever read any of the poems of William Carlos Williams. And I didn't know who he was. And then I heard a professor say, literally, damn this place. This is the late 1940s, the early 1950s, the height of T.S. Eliot, you know, the whole thing, Arden Spender, all fine in their own wonderful ways. But believe me, the faculty at that time of Harvard University and the English department had no great interest in William Collins Williams. We were reading a lot of T.S. Eliot. Miller said, I'm going to give you something to read. And I want you to read it and then come back to me with what you think about what you read. Well, Miller was a pretty truculent character. And I later realized he had his own, in many ways, Miller was very much like Dr. Williams, taking on, as the Bible puts it, principalities and power, powers. I wrote my essay, and he read it, and he said, this is pretty good. Send it to the doctor. That's the way he put it. Not the way. He said, send it to the doctor. I said, uh, well, I can't do that. I was demurring, to use a fancy word. There's a good college board word. Anyways, I was demurring. <laughs> he said, that's what they teach you here. You can't do this, and you can't do that. The they. I'd later hear this from Eric H. Erickson when he came to Harvard. He started talking about a number of they's. Boy, if you'll pardon this diversion, when I was in the South in the Civil Rights Movement, I came back to Cambridge from the Mississippi Summer Project. And Eric took me to a bunch of the Big Shot Harvard Faculty Club. And as we were standing in line, there was all this talk, oh my god, blabbity blabbity blab. Eric looked at me and he said, when you folks are through down here, why don't you come up here? This place needs it badly, too. <laughs> I said, what are we going to do? He said, you can try picketing to begin with. <laughs> picketing the place that employed him. The long, excuse these diversions. Actually, Williams was a great one for diversions. He'd get started on a story. I'd be sitting in the car with him, and he'd go here, and he'd go there, and this is a good preparation for becoming a shrink, <laughs> mind wandering, and trying to make sense of it. He wandered. And uh, the long and short of it is, he sent me back on a prescription. William Collis Williams, MD, Nine Ridge Road, Rutherford, New Jersey, no zip codes then. Dear Mr. Coles, thanks for sending that essay you wrote, Dash. I learned, so many, I learned about the Dash from him. He was always using him. Dash, not bad for a Harvard student. <laughs> <laughs> so I showed it to Miller. He said, because of the end, he said, P.S., if you're